Hello, hello, and welcome to today's 15 minute full body wall Pilates workout. This workout is going to be perfect if you're new to Pilates, if you wanna try something similar to a reformer machine but you don't have a reformer, and if you just need a quick workout. So this workout is free of equipment, all you need is your beautiful self and the wall, and that's about it. Before we get into this workout, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, turn notifications so you never miss another one of my videos, and go check out my app and virtual Pilates studio, Sweaty Studio, in the link below. All right, let's get into this. Meet me on your mat for a short little stretch. All right, to start, go ahead, face your wall, scooting your mat all the way against the wall, okay? So bring those knees slightly wider than your hips and then bring your hands slightly wider than your shoulders. Closing your eyes, just take a big inhale through your nose, drop your belly down, gaze up to the sky. And then on your exhale, release any doubts, any tension from your body and mind. Press out of your palms, rounding your spine, gazing towards your thighs. One more time here, big inhale through your nose, lots of confidence into your body, arching your back, dropping your belly down. And then one more time, exhale, press out of those palms, rounding your shoulders, tucking your chin towards your chest. Feeling that beautiful deep stretch in your shoulder blades and your neck. And then carefully come to a neutral spine, squeeze your core tight, big inhale, open left arm to the sky, spread your fingertips nice and wide. And then on your exhale, we thread left arm down, drop shoulder to mat, just gazing underneath your right arm. Feeling a beautiful stretch across your left shoulder. Breathing in, setting your intention for class today. Think of this like your why for being here. And then on your exhale, we just press back up to all fours, other side here. Inhale, open right up to the sky. Feel that beautiful stretch across your chest, opening your heart here. And then we exhale any doubts, limiting beliefs. Spread right arm down, drop shoulder to mat. Feeling that beautiful stretch across your right shoulder. Breathing in, lots of love, telling yourself I'm so beautiful inside and out. And then we exhale, press back up to all fours. All right, so to start, I want you to go ahead, flip around and meet me on your back facing your wall. So I want you to scoot about a foot away from the wall with your booty and then plant your feet hip width apart parallel flat against the wall. We tuck your hips under, so squeeze your booty, squeeze your core to tuck those hips under, taking any arch out of your lower back. Once we're here, we stack our arms right over our shoulders, palms face forward, pressing lots of pressure against those feet, anchor them into the wall. On our next exhale, we start to press our arms down, just crunching shoulder blades off of mat, gaze towards your belly button, hold. And then on your inhale, we slowly lower with control, returning back to the mat. As we exhale, we press those arms down, press into feet, lift shoulder blades off the mat, hold. And then we inhale, slowly lower, with so much control back to the mat. Just starting to warm up the front of our body, getting into our deep core here. And then we inhale, lots of love, release back to mat. Last one here, press crunch, hold this at the top. We start to pump those arms. We pump, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, relaxing our face, relaxing shoulders out of ears. Breathing through this here, telling yourself one compliment, something you love about you. Gorgeous, can you lift your shoulder blades one inch higher? Keep your gaze towards your belly button for five, for four, for three, for two, and we slowly lower all the way back to the mat, resting head, neck, and shoulders. Rock your head to the left, rock your head to the right, feeling your neck release any tension here. And then come back to neutral spine, keep your arms where they are. We take an inhale, plug your belly down towards your spine, tell yourself, I am so strong. And then on our exhale, we press those arms down as we pull left knee to chest, crunch, bringing nose to tap your knee if you can. And then we inhale lower, extend that left leg back to tap the wall. Stay to the left side here. We press our arms down, crunching, gazing towards your nose to knee. And then we exhale, or we inhale, lower back to rest our head against the mat. So this entire time we're doing a single leg crunch, making sure we're pressing into that right foot. That's gonna give you a little bit of a deeper traction to get more into this crunch here. We're here for five. We're gonna switch sides next in three, in two, and on this next one, we lower all the way back down, set your left foot flat against the wall, and then we take this to the other side. With big inhale here, tell yourself, I am powerful inside and out. On our exhale, we press our arms down, pull right knee to nose, and then we slowly inhale, extend your right leg straight as you rest your head to mat. Big exhale, press crunch into that wall, gaze towards your knee, 
and then we inhale, slowly lower with control. We're here for 10 more seconds. One more change of core to go here. Here for five, here for four, three, two, and release. Bring your hands behind your head, elbows wide, and then I want you to go ahead and bring your heels together, toes apart, flexing your toes off of the wall. Once you're here, I want you to go ahead and just start to crunch upper body up, holding your shoulder blades hovering off the mat. Then we lift your legs up towards the sky, lower back to the wall, and then rest your head, neck, and shoulders. Four part combo. We exhale, crunch, lift shoulder blades off the mat, lift those legs to the sky, lower heels back to wall, and release this down. Final 10. All you, my gorgeous queens, stay with it. For five, for four, for three, for two, and slowly release, rest your head, arms go along by your side. Just turn your toes parallel and slowly drop your knees to the left and then drop your knees to the right. Releasing tension from your back here, from your hips, just let it go. Okay, when you're ready, I want you to scoot about a foot and a half away from the wall. So if you were doing the core series, you might have shifted a little bit more away from the wall like I know I did. So go ahead and just meet me about foot and away, foot and a half away. Keep those feet planted on the wall, arms go long by your side. We tuck your hips under, taking the space out from your back and the floor, and then press into those heels again. Really anchoring ourselves here. Imagine the wall is like the foot bar on your reformer machine if you've ever done a reformer Pilates. Then slowly peel those hips up, coming into a nice hip bridge position. Once we're here, I want you to keep your gaze towards the top of your thighs, preventing any neck tension here. We have a little combination to go. So go ahead and begin to lift your heels off of the wall, calf raise, lower those heels down, drop your hips back to mat, and then hip bridge, lift hips back up. Heels go up, lower down, drop hips, lift hips. Four part combo here, and just as you need to, if you feel like you're too close to the wall, just scoot yourself back until you feel comfortable. If you feel like you're too far away from the wall, just scoot yourself forward. We're here for 10. We're gonna hold this at the top for alternating knee pulls to your chest in just five, in four, in three, two. On this next one, we hold this at the top, retuck those hips under, and start to shift your weight to the left leg, pulling right knee to chest. Keep your hips nice and high, don't let them move. Drop right foot back to the wall. Little marches here. Pull left knee to chest, hips stay nice and high, squeeze your booty, and tap back to the wall. Beautiful, nice stability here in your core, in your pelvic floor here for 10. All of you, one more change in five, four, three, two, and we hold both feet down, just tuck those hips under. We tuck and tuck. Think squeeze your booty, squeeze your abs, then we'll release it. Here's 10, all you nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and we lower one vertebrae at a time, come back to the mat, hug those knees into your chest, give yourself a tight squeeze, telling yourself I love me. Rock side to side, massage at your low back here. And then when you're ready, go ahead, flip yourself on over, and we're gonna do a quick little plank series. Nothing crazy, I promise. So go ahead. I want you to bring those feet mat width apart, pressing the balls of your feet into the wall, and then slowly walk yourself out so your hands stack underneath your shoulders. We extend those legs straight to hover off of the ground. And then once you're here, soften the elbows, soften your face, squeeze your core. Big inhale through your nose, reset, it's short, it's spicy, it's one move. On our exhale, we pike those hips up, reaching left hand to tap your right ankle. Then we inhale, drop hips back to neutral starting position, other side. Exhale, pike hips up, reach right hand to tap left ankle, then inhale, back to starting position, beautiful. Imagine you have a string attached to your hips, slowly controlling you to lift up, and then slowly controlling you to lower it down. Feeling this in those obliques as well as you twist and reach. Gorgeous, my queen. We're here for just 10 more seconds. Then we drop it down in five, in four, 
three, two, and release. Open those knees wide, press this back. Taking a well-deserved child's pose stretch, resting your forehead into the mat, deep breath in, imagining confidence, filling your lungs, making you feel so warm and sunshiny inside. Exhale, release any tension, any negative thoughts, just let it go. All right, my gorgeous queen, when you're ready, go ahead and just stand on up. We have a little thigh section to go. All right, go ahead, meet me standing up for a little thigh section. So when you're ready, go ahead, turn so your back is against the wall. Pressing your back into the wall, we slowly walk your feet forward, and then I want you to bring your feet zip together and slowly start to sink your hips down the wall till you are in a 90 degree angle. So your back's against the wall, your core is tight. Walk your heels so they're directly below your knees in a little wall sit position. I know maybe this is bringing back some PE for you. I know it is for me when I did wall sits in gym class, but work with me, it's gonna feel so good, okay? So when you're ready, arms go forward, tuck your hips under, and we turn your palms to face in. Little four part combo to go. We lift our arms up, heels go up, Heels lower down, arms lower down. Arms lift up, heels go up, heels lower, arms lower. So we're feeling your shoulder blades squeeze together as your arms lift up, like a pencil is between them. And then as your heels lift, we feel your calves firing up, engaging. Beautiful, heels are gonna stay high in just five. Arms are gonna lift up two and three, in two, Hold your arms up, hold your heels up, just hold. Pressing your back into the wall, we hold it for 10. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Here for five, for four, for three, for two, and we slowly lower those arms down and up. Last change for 10. We stretch it next in five, four, three, two, and release. Go ahead, lower back to your mat, and then come and meet me in a seated position for a little stretch. All right, when you're ready, go ahead, extend your left leg in a half straddle stretch, bringing your right foot in. Lower down to your left forearm, and then I want you to side bend over to the left, gazing underneath your right arm, dropping your shoulders out of your ears, relaxing your face, feeling your lower back release tension. Exhale, turn towards your leg, nose to knee, heart to thigh. Melting against gravity here. Inhaling in, telling yourself, I am wonderfully and beautifully made. I'm here for a reason. Exhale any doubts, any mean thoughts, any anxieties, just anything that's making you not feel like your best self today, let it go with your breath. When you're ready, lifting yourself on up, switch out your legs, right leg goes into half straddle, fold your left foot in, bring your right forearm to the mat, side bend over, gazing underneath your left arm, really dropping that left hip down towards the mat. And then when you're ready, we slowly turn towards your leg, nose to knee, heart to thigh, melting against gravity, feeling so strong and so thankful for the ability to move your beautiful body today. When you're ready, lift yourself up, send both of those legs straight and zip together. Sweep your arms out and around, diving towards your ankles and feet. Take a grip on either your calves, ankles, or feet, wherever you are in your flexibility journey today. Just meet yourself there with love, feeling so proud of yourself for being exactly where you are and taking the first step today to feeling your best and filling your cup with this workout. When you're ready, squeeze your body three times, telling yourself, I love me. Feeling so freaking proud of yourself. I can't even stress that enough. You are amazing, you are strong, and I hope you know that, my gorgeous queen. When you're ready, slowly just lift yourself up, come to a seated position, crossing your ankles, and finish things off with a big hug. Just feeling so much love for yourself today. You are a powerhouse, and I hope you know that. Whenever you're ready, you are done, my gorgeous queen. I hope you love this workout. Let me know in the comments in one word how you're feeling after this workout. And don't forget to check out Sweaty Studio, my online Pilates studio and app for so many more workouts like this. We have monthly challenges, we have programs, we have schedules for all levels, and we have cycle syncing plans too. So check that out below and also make sure you are subscribed to my channel for more amazing fun workouts like this one. I'll see you next time, have the best day and stay sweaty. Bye.